Yeah. Anyways, Nick, let's just uh, reflect on the year that was and, and how you saw it overall. Yeah, I think uh, as a group, uh, I think we took a lot of strides. Um, I mean, there was a time there where we were in the basement of the league um, for us to battle back and um, get into playoffs. Obviously, it didn't go the way we wanted there and uh, for those two games. But I think there's a lot of growth, growth uh, especially in our young guys. Um, you know, I'm proud of the group to get to, to get to the point where they did by the end of the year. How unusual was it to, to end the regular season with those two games against Texas, and then which were – Obviously, they had meaning, but they weren't really meaningful in terms of you already knew you were playing them. And then to go into the playoffs and really kind of almost play completely different games against them. Yeah. Um, you know, I wasn't a part of the, you know, the first three games there. I was, a, you know, I came back for that fourth one. But just being being around the group um, for the, you know, for those first two wins for them. And, you know, it seemed like it was pretty easy. Um, you know, we kind of took it to them for two games there. And then for them to come out and play the way they did in the game one of the series, um, you know, showed that um, you know playoffs playoffs are a different different game, and it's uh, you know uh, I don't you know it's 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 an odd situation to play that to play the team like that two times and then go and play them again. You know, a couple of days later in playoffs is a little different, and you know, especially when the first two didn't have any meaning, and um, you know, um, is what it is. You know, every year there's different growth from different you know guys on the team, but the, this year that identity line of uh, Reichel, VL, and Ford. They really seem to be big drivers of your team. What can you say about what those guys brought to night in, night out? Yeah, I mean, they were amazing. Uh, they were, you know, they were generating off the four check, the rush. They were, you know, they were, they were a great line, I thought. Um, you know, especially, the, you know, I know VL and Reichs had you know, slow starts to the year, and for them to finish where they did points-wise um, just shows how good that line was for the, you know, once they were put together. Um, they played the right way every night. Um, you know, it was no shortcuts, just um, you know, hard work, um, making plays. It was um, it was fun to watch. I thought they were um, a great line, and um, you know, yeah, uh, career years for a lot of those guys. One of the things we we taught you to, you mentioned was the, the growth of the prospects. We're not going to go through all of them, but one guy who had a significant impact on this team was Thomas Milich. Not easy for a guy in his first year as a pro to come in and and be asked to do what he did and do what he did. So, what did you see from him from the start of the year until the end? Well, we didn't. I didn't really see him at the start, but when he came in and started playing for us, I mean, it was. I mean, his numbers don't show how good he was. Um, he was he was incredible. Um, yeah, I've. You know, we had a chance to win every night with that guy. He um, he put some uh, games that weren't so good from us and made it look like you know you look at the the stat, you look at two one win and could have been five two the other way. Like he was he was that good. I mean, I even thought in game one of the playoffs um, we lost. He led in five goals, but that was one of the better five goal performances I've, I've seen. He was he was great. He was um, you know I'm excited to see what where that kid's gonna go because. Um, yeah, he's, a, he's an amazing goalie. Just on the topic of prospects, what did it mean for you guys to see two NHL debuts and even a first NHL goal with uh, Brad Lambert and Nikita Chirpikov this year too? Yeah, especially, you know, the timing. It, the game didn't mean anything, but, you know, I think it was probably pretty rewarding for them to go the whole year and, you know, you ha maybe f f wait the whole year. And, you know, obviously they want to play earlier, but to, to you know, to earn it throughout a co course of a season and, um, you know, not just uh, an injury in the middle of the season and just, get called up they, they are in that spot and they obviously first years in the league and they had an incredible impact on the team Nick what did it mean to you to get into that final playoff game there after kind of battling through injury the last bit of the season and just to, to fight your way and get back into the lineup for that game yeah I was honestly I was pretty um concerned with uh like the you know just the recovery time the recovery process on you know getting two concussions there in a span of a couple months so I was uh, a little concerned that I wasn't going to make it back, but just, you know, I know it's just one game, but to be able to get out there and play one game and feel good, um, you know, for me personally, it, it means a lot to go into the offseason knowing that I, I, I could play. And, uh, yeah, it meant a lot. How did you feel about your season? I mean, it seemed like you were able to kind of set a tone each time you're out in the, out in the rotation and uh, provide a lot for this team. Yeah, I think it's um, a spot I haven't really been in in my career, and I, I think I handled it well. Um, yeah, I think it, it's it's different coming in the lineup like that, and I I think I you know I, I just I was able to make the most of my opportunity and just um, stay in the moment and not be able, not be worrying what's going to happen with the lineup. And when I get in, I'm going to play the best I can.